Welcome to this Pregactive Postpartum Yoga, perfect for any mama, and of course, pelvic floor and diastasis recti safe. For more workouts just like this, hit subscribe, and of course, click the notification button so you're the first to know all about it. And you can join me over at pregactive.com for my core cool rehab and stronger mama challenges. Now, let's get started. All you need for this workout is yourself. Maybe a yoga mat if you have one. Let's sit, relax, breathe in, roll your shoulders up, back and down. Again, breathe, roll the shoulders up, back and down. Last one here, breathe in and out. Hands down by your side, reach one hand up, get the stretch. And over to the other side. Again, stretching over. And to the other side. Breath in, reach. And exhale, swap. Perfect. Come back into center, twist one way. And then release and twist the other way. Come back into center, reach your hands forward. Now open your chest, breathe, look up. Exhale, round your spine, tuck your tail. Again, breathe, reach, open. Exhale and round. Last one here, breathe. And down. Come back into stillness, drop your hands, shake it all out. Let's head into all four kneeling. Hands under shoulders, knees under hips, look up, open your chest, breathe in. Exhale, round your spine, tuck your tail, cat curl. Again, breathe here, look up, open. Exhale, round in your back. Last one, breathe, look up. Exhale and round. Coming back into your all fours, right hand, reach it out to the side or to the ceiling. And thread it through the gap. Thread the needle, breathe, look up. Exhale and thread. Last one, this side, breathe, lift. Exhale and thread. Lift the hand up, place the hand back to the ground. Let's go, other side, breathe. Exhale and thread. Breathe, lift. Exhale and thread. Last one, big breath. Exhale, thread. Lift the hand up, place the hand back towards the ground. Pull your shoulders back, lengthen through your spine, engage your core. Now slide opposite arm, opposite leg away. Flex the foot, press the heel away. Send the fingertips as far forward as you can, but keep that shoulder back, away from your ears. We're breathing here. For another three, still breathing and holding. For two, and one release, other side, same thing. Lengthen long, flex and press that heel. Breathe. So good for your back, for your glutes, for your core. We're holding as we breathe for three, four, two. And one, drop, rock those hips from side to side. 
Tuck your toes, lift your hips up nice and high, find your down dog. And then just pedal through your feet. Pressing one heel to the ground and then swapping to the other side. From here, lift both heels up, breathe in. Exhale, press both heels back and down. Again, breathe, lift the heels. Exhale, press them down. And breathe and lift. Exhale, press. Now, crawl your hands back towards your toes. Slight bend into those knees and just drop your head here. You can hold to opposite elbows if you want. Let your upper body be heavy. Let your head feel heavy. Shake your head like you're saying no. Nod your head like you're saying yes. And then just let your body sway from side to side. Find your stillness, release your hands, and then very, very slowly curl up the stand. Reach your hands wide, look up, breathe in. Exhale, release back down. Crawling your hands all the way out and lower your knees down one at a time. Take a breath in here. Exhale, engage through the core pelvic floor belly. Slide opposite arm, opposite leg, flex through that foot, pressing the heel away, fingertips away. Pull your shoulders back. Breathe here for another five, four, Three, two, and one. Release down, other side, breath in, then exhale to slide away, flex the foot, breathe here. We're here for five. Pull your shoulders back. Four, still breathing. Three, two, and one. Rock those hips from side to side. And now, sliding one knee forward, slide the other leg back, pigeon pose. So you can pull this front foot forward a little, square off the hips, lift up onto your fingertips and breathe here. If it's ever too much, go for your figure four glute stretch instead, that's fine. Opening through the front body, a beautiful stretch for the front of this hip and the glute of the other side. One more breath here. Let go of that breath, let go of something, let go of tension. Now, let's release down, elbows down. Drop your head. Release, relax. And just completely surrender to this moment right here. Doing something for you is so important. Relaxing, releasing the muscles is good but helping you to focus on your breath, drop and relax, release that stress and tension is so important for you, for you as a mother, for you as that family unit. So prioritize it. Even when you feel you have no time at all, just take a few deep breaths, it's enough. Deep breaths. One more big breath here. And out. Very slowly crawl the hands back, slide that leg back, rock the hips a little, and then we swap 
over to the other side to slide that knee forward, adjust as it feels good for you. And then fingertips lift and lengthen, breathe here. Hmm. All that sitting that we do as mothers, it really plays up with our hip flexors, the front of our hips. So to stretch this, so good. Pull your shoulders back, lengthen through your spine. Take one more big breath here. And out. And then begin to crawl back down. Drop your head, let it go. One more big breath in and out. From here, crawl your hands back. Now just swing that back leg forward. Let your legs go out in front of you. Be tall here. And then just begin and allow your body to curve with this to reach forward or bend forward. Slight bend into your knees if you need that. Just let your chin drop down towards your chest. And just allow your body to surrender here. If we stay here long enough, it actually helps to rejuvenate through the tissues of the back. Almost like a sponge, it helps to soak in all of that hydration, which hopefully makes you feel better now, just after the class, but also in the hours and days to come. As you breathe, let yourself just soften further into this stretch. Let your head drop a little bit more and be okay with your spine rounding with this. Five more deep breaths here, breathing in and out. Breathing in. And down. Breathing in. And down. Breathing in. And down. One more for me. Breathe it in. Slowly curl your way back up. Roll those shoulders up, back and down. Hands go back behind you, lift through your chest, look up, squeeze your shoulder blades. And then release, shake the head, two more like that. Lift, squeeze. And release now, stay with that, or if you want just that a little bit more, let the feet go flat, hands back behind you, fingertips towards your heels, and then squeeze, lift, stay here, or lift the hips. Breathe. And release. Perfect. Facing towards me. One last stretch, and that is eagle arms. So just let your hands go across. 
bend the elbows and then have your hands like this or if you can clasp them behind. Lift your elbows up and then lower back down. Lift, breathe in, exhale. Lift, now hold here, breathe here. If you can, you can send your hands away from your forehead a little. Breathe. Right now, just take note of which elbow is on top. Hmm. And slow release. Unwind, we're going straight into the other side. So send those hands out and then swap. So your other elbow is on top. Breathe in, lift the elbows. Exhale and lower. Breathe in, lift. And down. Breathe in. And stay here if you can. Send those hands a little away from your forehead. Breathe here. Beautiful. Release, release, stretch, open, breathe in. And clasp the hands out in front, round your back. Release, shake it all out. Drop one ear over to the side. If you want, the top hand can come up and over, gently touches. Just so that top ear, breathe here. Release, float the head up and over to the other side. And release, float the head up, drop your chin to your chest. And just let your head rock from side to side. Find stillness, float the head up, roll the shoulders, big breath. Let it go. Reach the hands all the way up high. Connect and draw back towards you. And namaste. Thank you for joining me in this practice. For more videos just like this, head over to pregactive.com. Of course, don't forget to hit subscribe and the notification button. See you next time. For more videos just like this, visit productive.com.